If COVID-19 wasn't dominating the news right now, what would be some of the biggest stories be right now? The U.S. government wanting to ban end-to-end -end encryption. The U.S. government trying to pass an anti-child porn law that actually just gives them the ability to search through all of our messages at it. If you want to learn more about this act, here's a link HTTPS Act.F.org Action Protect Our Speech and Security Online Reject the Graham Blumenthal Bill to an article with some great information. The 2020 Presidential Election The nearly two-year-long Ebola outbreak in the DRC has ended. The last patient to be treated has survived. The former King of Spain and his Swiss accounts I would hope the locusts plaguing East Africa, the Middle East, and the Indian subcontinent. It's describing some swarms as being the size of New York, and they are eating their harvest threatening widespread famine. I think without coronavirus we would mobilize to try to control this population the way we did for Zika carrying mosquitoes in the Americas. Edit, this NPR article https www.npr.org 20200221807483297 Why are swarms of locusts wreaking havoc in East Africa describes how in 2018 an unfortunate series of cyclones from the Indian Ocean hit an extremely remote area of the Arabian Peninsula known as the Empty Quarter. This produced extraordinary rain and gave them what they needed to breed. Because a second cyclone hit occurred during their breeding cycle, instead of drying out and having most of their population die out in the desert, the population exploded. In favorable conditions they can multiply by 400x their population every six months. Then they mass migrated. Also for clarity, a swarm was identified as three times the size of NYC. Probably the oil price war actually. Saudi Arabia is trying to force the Russians into cutting production since they won't play ball with OPEC plus, and us shale might pay the price as we need high cost for this entire industry to function. That Putin changed his country's constitution so he can be president until 2036. One of the main routes into downtown Seattle, the West Seattle Bridge, was closed yesterday because cracks in support beams made it structurally unsound. It will take several months to fix and will not reopen until it's done. This would normally destroy the entire Seattle commute, but it happened right now so it's barely even a blip on the local news. NTH Room Case in Korea Telegram porno sexual slavery ring with 74 victims including underage girls. The Telegram groups had 260,000 members. The NTH room perpetrator Sarah accused off luring victims, including minors, into sending sexually explicit photos and videos. In some cases, this escalated to using blackmail to force victims into increasingly violent acts, including sexual assault absolutely disgusting. I'm surprised that this news didn't get bigger internationally edit. Don't let this get buried. ISIS bombs seek place of worship in Afghanistan. Astronomer here. We might have a bright naked eye comet next month in the Northern Hemisphere or first since 1997. Comet C-2019 Atlas Y4 is brightening really quickly HTTPS Astronomy.com News Observing 202003 Comet Atlas may soon be visible to the naked eye, and by May might be one of the brightest things in the night sky. I mean, Comets are notoriously tricky to predict in brightness, as it might just break apart as it gets closer to the sun. But it's really exciting to think about, albeit no one has heard about it because of the pandemic, though granted, doesn't a pandemic need a bright comet? Edit, you might be able to get it in binoculars right now, or at least have fun trying. Here https heavensabove.com comet.asks. SIG% 2F 2019 20 Y4 Lot 50 LNG 15 Lock% C4% 8 Kral 270 Tss it is a star chart for it. And yes, the last bright Northern Hemisphere Great Comet was Heilbop, which was up for about a year to the naked eye. If you were a Southern Hemisphere resident in 2006, however, you probably remember Comet McNaught. 
Edit 2. Because many are asking, that bright star in the evening sky is actually Venus. It's around its peak brightness and height right now and you should go take a look if your social distancing allows it. Might as well take a break from Netflix and look at a whole new planet. Smile at it 3. No there is no chance of the comet hitting us or affecting life on Earth beyond potentially getting bright. I'd like to say the urn at https www.theverge.com interface 20203122117485 urn at act encryption killer Lindsey Graham match group act, but shit like this doesn't tend to make the news. The locusts in Africa. Well probably not in American news. But it's still pretty big news emo. The government is trying to basically ban encryption and start imprisoning website owners if their users say the wrong things. That guy that was the second person ever to be cured of HIV. Earn it Bill, it seeks to end encryption in the USA. It would be a huge hit to online free speech. Andrew Gillum, married with kids almost became governor of Florida was found naked high on meth and drunk in a hotel with an overt dosing male escort. The Lori Vallocad de Bell case is still alive and well. The insider trading scandal in Congress. Country leaders trying to secure their position as heads of state for unlimited duration. Example, Russia and Ukraine. Yes the Hong Kong protests are still ongoing. Brexit. I almost miss it. Weinstein, the bill Congress is trying to push through to end encryption, voter suppression, the list could go on. Bill Gates leaving Microsoft. I know this is COVID-19 related, but, the pubs are shut here in Ireland. The pubs are shut in Ireland. You know when Wiley E. Coyote runs off a cliff, and is hanging in midair with feet still spinning desperately? That's what this feels like. The earthquake in Zagreb. That all the millions of dollars we raised for the people affected by the bushfires in Australia has maybe vanished. I've spoken to a few people whose houses burnt down and they haven't seen a cent. Where did the money raised go I wonder? Earn it act. Earn it act https www.f.org deep links 20203 earn it bill government's not so secret plan scan every message online. Genocide in Myanmar. It's been going on for a while and only recently has there been a vote on if it's a problem. It's already spring. The NTH Room Sex Crime Case in Korea. Please read about it if you can. It's absolutely horrifying. China trying to extend its reach further into the South China Sea. The natives in Canada are still mad about the pipeline but no one cares anymore. Earthquake in Zagreb 3 days ago. Corona and earthquake damage are two news in the news. CRISPR was just successfully injected into a live patient to treat genetically caused blindness. Sauce HTTPS www.npr.org 20200318817811768 Yep they injected CRISPR into an eyeball. The ozone layer is getting better. In Scotland former first minister being cleared of rape charges. The fact scientists discovered a new dinosaur that was the size of a hummingbird and they also found a new planet behind Pluto in our solar system edit. Thank you to all the kind people who pointed out that the new planet they found is actually an exoplanet. The full phone call between Kanye West and Taylor Swift from 2016 leaked and it's been the only thing my Twitter has been talking about. COVID, 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 Kanye West is over, COVID. 2020 Olympics preparations and Euro 2020 football, soccer, and Liverpool winning the Premier League for the first time in Eidklong, 
but they want BC a man from China has more of an impact stopping them than actual football teams. Trump just, insert something most people don't give a shit about, proving he's a liar, inept, an idiot, a dictator, pick one. Basically, the same headlines from the last three and a half years. The Earn It Act which is basically the government creating an unconstitutional law against the First and Fourth Amendment by removing end-to-end -end encryption allowing the government to see all your messages and many other private interactions you've had online. Harvey Weinstein getting convicted and going to prison. I feel like everyone just blew over that one. Tom Brady now plays for Tampa Bay. Tony Ferguson is finally gonna fight Khabib Nurmagomedov. That last one is actually the biggest kick in the face as far as I'm concerned. These two have never fought. Khabib is 28-0, Tony hasn't lost a fight in 8 years. They've been scheduled to fight each other 4 other times, some crazy shit has happened and the fight was called off. So they finally schedule it for a fifth time and a ducking global pandemic breaks out and is now in danger of cancelling their fight a fifth time. It's huge news. Dana says the fight is still on, but if things get really bad in the US over the next few weeks, nobody will give a shit anyway. Cabby vs Tony is quickly turning into a more accursed youth version of Floyd Mayweather not fighting Manny Pacquiao for too long. I'm scared because the smart people are the ones who will try to social distance and may not vote, but the stupid people won't be scared of COVID and will go vote, I think you know what that means.